G'day and welcome to the Infrunners. I'm X Hugh, joined today by Algrid. How you doing, mate? It's it's getting close to Christmas. It is. I've uh, been a good boy. I'll actually kind of give it away today because this is going to be coming out on Tuesday, which is Boxing Day or the day after Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, and or, or actually, it technically will be Christmas Day for the Americans when this one drops. Um, so we thought we'd record this ahead of time so we can have the day off, so to speak. And if you are at home or bored... I'm not expecting this to view particularly well, to be honest with you, be Christmas Day, but uh, we thought we'd uh, have a go. It's the 21st for us, which means it would be the 20th for you in the up over. Um, so we've, uh, I think the PTU has been out for what, two days type thing, Algrid, I think it is yep. now, two yep. days. Um, we've had a little bit of a chance to get in. It has been rather difficult to get in. A um, lot of people uh, hitting the servers, but we yep. have managed to get in, um, had a little bit of a, a look. We Come thought... on, you, you've managed to get in. I'm, yeah. I'm still trying to download the PTU. I, I had I had Evercardi working. Yeah, great. But PTU is taking me forever to. So Agra's experiences, yeah, Agra's experiences are going to be Evercardi. Mine are going to come directly from uh, in the game. So here we go. I'm going to switch us over to game. Yeah. So. And what she is. The vulture really hasn't. Model wise, changed all our grid as far as I can tell from since Invictus. Um, no, haven't. Some little um, switches have changed, little small marker things, but the model itself is relatively exactly the same. Yep. It, it does seem to have the same problem that um, we saw with the um, the cutter with the drop course there, the cause there, and in terms of being really low. Yeah. Um, oh, but I thought you were talking about. Because uh, when you go to take off, sometimes it, it, it drops yep. and stuff. Yeah, it, sorry. It, the nose the nose does drop when you take off, but um, but mm. yeah, it, she sits low on the ground. So if you're landing on uneven ground, you're going to have um, issues. Mm. Um, but other than that, it's a it's a big girl. She's a bit nose heavy, but yeah, it's. Mm quite nice i do like the ladder entrance as well as the back entrance i i think that's rather a, a nice industrial mm. uh touch that's true um also these uh engines don't vtol yet they don't rotate we'll show you the vtol uh when we take mm. off but um there is that nice little uh animation on the front entrance though isn't there on the panel yeah yeah that, yeah that you and i both picked up on yep i don't disagree on that um, I do, one thing I did notice is the lights are on by default inside, which is the first I think I've seen in any vehicle, uh, ship, vehicle. Um, but yep. yeah, very similar to the Carter. I think it, I don't know about you, Agra, but you can clearly tell all three of these ships that have been made this year have kind of rode on each other. This one feels yep. like the middle ground between the two, not just in size, but the way the components work. Um, it feels somewhere between the Corsair and the Carter. Um, yeah. and just that it, it, it's got more industrial feel than both of them, but yeah. Mm. It certainly seems to have nailed that, um, Drake industrial feel mm. in the, in the, in the last three ships. Yeah, Not, think... it doesn't feel as, um, like even though the panels are open and you can see the pipes and stuff, it doesn't yeah. feel as naked as say, I get the feeling with say, yeah. a, a, uh, 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 Cutlass or, or a hammerhead, well, this, a hammerhead um, or a caterpillar. This, this panel here is the only one I'm aware of. I could be wrong as we walk around, but this is the only one I'm really aware of that shows that kind of garbage band logo mm. on the back. Um, it does have that dark room, as you can see, though, of the cores there, where it's almost yeah. lit by candlelight. So, But um, you can actually turn the lights on in that room as well, which... I think they're on. That's what I'm trying to tell you, Aragon. I think they're... I, found, I felt that the lights, when I came in, the lights seemed to go were on downstairs but didn't seem to be on up here but I, I could have just been no you're all right they were able to be turned on yeah okay you're right so maybe there are some better low light conditions hmm. can we turn them on here i'll try again oh there we go yeah we've got some lights here too i do like this animation now this has been working and yeah see didn't work <laughs> just yep. instantly put me in uh, another ptu bug um as well I'll yeah, see. every so often it just flickers and, and doesn't either doesn't load or then load so it's a, mm. a, a, a hard a bit a bit finicky and um 
Yeah. I think that flashing hard is meant to be a placeholder for like a, a turn on or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just a bit weird. I don't. I'm gonna see if it. Nope. Oh no. There we go. Partially, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. It, it does. That that flickering does to me does remind me a lot of the uh uh the. Oh, dear me, I've gone blank. The the uh, vandal ships, you know, they, the way oh, you get yeah. that glitching of yeah. the yeah. the the faulty programming makes makes it glitch. Mm. Right? Maybe that's something they bring in for for drake ships as well. Mm. But their programming is you know sub subpar, so they yeah. get this kind of glitch, glitch, glitch. Yeah. So yeah, as Argud was saying, if we um, press K here, you'll see this little panel opens for the VTOL. But at the moment, that back VTOL, we have to assume that that rotates sitting on a pivot like that. Yeah, Argo, you and I were talking yeah. about this yesterday, but it's just not in at the moment. So you can, ooh, quite roughly, that's what we meant about the nose tipping. And now you can yeah. see the bottom VTOL there. If I press K again, it turns off. So, yeah. Land gear, as Argo said, very, very low. But it does have that cool panel slide on the, I'll yeah. open it again. Yeah, I do like that. I do like that. You pointed mm. out to the other day when when, when you were flying phase. It, it is a nice, cool, cool yeah, very little manual. Tub. Yeah, like yep. like every other one we've ever seen has been the, like the, like the back ones there with the two doors. It's just, mm. and it's probably hard to see on the video because it's black. But um, yeah, it's just something different. I really like that. And the same thing with this panel. This panel on top's the same, isn't it? With the thing, you know, very yep. manual sliding, makes it. That, I know it's cheaper feel. But that does kind of fit Drake, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah. All right. But, yeah, the, the, it does have a nice feel. I did like the ship when I took it out a few times. Um. Now, I'm not going to tell people where I am, Algrid, but uh, what I've found is often when I head over here, this one over here is an 890 jump. So we're going to go over and strip an 890 jump because that seems only well, fitting. The drag ship should be like <laughs> origin ship. So yeah, people, some people already know where I am, uh, but I'm not going to tell you where I am. It's got this weird bug too with the wings on top there. I don't know what's that little cloud is there. But, yeah. I, I think it, I had a feeling it was the interior lights or the the back lights that were on, but it's it's hard to tell. It's um... uh, it's definitely some kind of smoke, as you can hmm. see there, and it doesn't appear like if you saw. it I think it's meant to trail out the back, but it's just not trailing properly at the moment. Right, so this vulture here is my last one that I had weird issues with. It just... It's red. Yeah, it just it's didn't want to work. Yeah, so all the MFDs shut down on the ship and I couldn't do anything, so yeah, it was kind of strange. So, um, you press M. Uh, the other thing I'll point out real quick, obviously that little icon there, like a little disintegrating rock or something, is the salvageable um, material icon. I don't know what else mm. to call it at this point, but yeah. So M for mining, or now I guess it'll be called modes. Um, yep. If you click right mouse, you can cycle between two different salvage heads. I prefer the second one, which seems to be slower yet wider. Um, and then the first one's like faster but smaller. So, um, the way I kind of look at it is different paintbrush sizes in, say, something like Photoshop, yep. if you know how you kind of change your circles. Uh, and so, if you're trying to get something thin, you use the first one. If you're trying to get a thicker area, like what we're doing here, you'd use a fatter one. Um, if you hold Alt, it then you can affect the thing. So, if I'm holding Alt and scrolling the mouse wheel, you can see I can separate the distance the lasers have. Right, and then obviously if I alt right mouse, I can change it from vertical to horizontal. So in this case, I might go horizontal to go across here. Now they're not close enough, so if I bring them closer and bring up the uh, intensity, and it's literally as simple as that. It's kind of like um, uncoloring in a something yeah. or mowing the lawn is another one i've heard it called because you can just move the mouse a little bit and i can move my hands off and it just does it itself yeah. um yeah automatic 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 lawn mowing yeah mowing it's basically it. 
and you just want to do it nice and slow and off it comes now while I think this is overall slower than say um, mining you've also probably once you find one it takes a lot longer to do um, and I think you do also probably get more out of one hole than you would out of one rock especially at the mm. moment with the price of it it's right we haven't been able to sell it yet there's a bug at the moment you can't store the ships that's what we probably should try out it actually is get like out a cutter or something and um transfer it from one ship to the other and then sell it in the cutter yeah that would that would work yeah uh, I, I like the way uh, as, we just, as we'd seen an isc the way the you know the re refined material once it's once you've got a full box it spits it out the back and then you've got to move the box to mm. and stack it um but yeah, it's a it's a nice uh, it's a nice implementation of tier one salvage, um, and or tier zero salvage, I, should, I suppose I should say. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a. I just realised something. Oh, I got out. Didn't mean to do that. I'll take. Uh, and that's the uh, that's the ladder exit. Yeah. The... There's also a little thing up here for blast charges. Eventually, when you you can deploy blast charges out there. Um, so eventually, when um, we're able to blast the um, apart, be able to do that. So what I'm going to do is I forgot to turn off the um, auto eject. Yep. Um, so I'm going to turn that off now because that way I can come down here and show you how that works. So if you want to turn that off, you just tick this little box and it turns it off. Hmm. But it is now, so, it's very um early days, I think, Alfred. I don't know about you, your impressions, but what are yeah, your yeah, thoughts on it? Well like I said, it, it is it is basically the tier zero or tier one or whatever you want to call the first stage that they now give us for, for a profession. Mm. Um sadly for those people who haven't picked up either a CCU to a vulture or one previously it's not currently available in the stop shop mm. it will be soon i imagine it will be soon yeah I'd i agree. imagine we'll come back i agree i imagine I, I didn't imagine once it goes once 318 goes live it'll it'll be in the shop uh currently when i look at the um upgrade window it's valued at 140. i expect it to probably be that unless they give it a, a high site because it's a lively game um but that but that puts it um, at the moment less than the prospector and less than the vulture. So I still uh, the... I still can't um, figure out why I get out one and not the other. It seems to be almost random where it drops me out. Yeah, I what? think it's, yeah. So... Where are you expecting the ship to come out at? Our price wise. I wouldn't be surprised that it's 155 same price as a prospect yeah I'm, I'm betting 160 based on the fact that the prospect used to be 135 and this is 140. um oh, yep that that's my thought so i think it'll be five dollars more expensive it also means everyone that has a prospect that can upgrade for five bucks and that's extra money for cig um, yep uh, and i could see that i could see that being, being an option they take as well so right. but we... you know i i expect it's going to be one you know roughly 155 160 it's not certainly not going to be the same price mm. as a vulture but it will be all right so they have vulcan but a very very similar price to a prospector all right so i'm ejecting this so this thing goes down i always hoped it would go all the way to the bottom but it it, it doesn't well it's pressing down a little bit further yeah a little bit i gotta imagine it's coming at it from almost all sides so yeah all right and then you can now take your tractor beam and you'll notice it has these purple squares for the cargo refactor and it just pops in and the other day i literally had it almost all full up here and then the server crashed but you can stack them on each other yep. and obviously if you work that out there's your 12 scu of cargo um six on the bottom six on the top and, and you can see just on that how uh just by doing the math uh, how much a reclaimer will make before it has to go and sell stuff co compared mm. to a vulcan uh, vulture Vulcan Vulture. Too many blasted ships with similar names. So you obviously though can see though, unlike a prospector where you're almost sitting there all the time and you don't really have to get out, this is a lot more hands-on. Yeah. You've got to get out, you've got to blast the you know, after you've stripped it all off, you've got to blast it apart, and then you've got to come back in here and that'll be the next step, pulling it between the legs and munching it all up. 
Yep. So we've still got that to look at as well, yeah. So got Yeah, it. so at the moment, in the original draft, that was the lasers would blast the stuff and then the tractors would suck it in but in mm. towards you and fill in the fill in that munch area. Um at the so at the moment we're we're missing some of that original um, I suppose concept of methodology of how it work. But yeah, it, it's it's got a nice feel. It, it's certainly not going to be just um, take your hatchet and bang the bang thing a few times and it's, uh, it's done. It's, it's going to have, very, I think, very similar need to do stuff like you would on a on, on the mining, where you've got a you know that different ability to a different scale. Of, uh, of well, there's two parts stuff. to it as well. Obviously, the mm. stripping and the munching. So that already, in my book, you know, where with mining it looks like you're going to get two completely different types the obviously shattering of rocks and then also the drilling down part which we've yet to see obviously so but it looks like we'll get to see more of this before we get to see more of mining it's rather casual it's rather simple mm. um it's not complicated but as i said it is only really half of the story um yeah. and i think so the... go ahead go I was going to say, once we get that ability to blow the ships apart and crack them up and then pull those smaller bits in, that's where, that's where we'll see, I think, more um, uh, more versatility and more roles needed for this ship. Mm. You know, the need to make sure those parts you're trying to munch are smaller. Um, whether these whether these lasers will have a, have a, a part in reducing those smaller bits down as well. Yeah. Uh, they're things we just don't know yet, but as you said, it, it's quite a leisurely, pleasant... Mm. You can actually also um, press G, and then you can actually freehand it as well, um, so, which is a little so different. So you can draw phallic symbols or whatever you click that. Yeah, yes you can. But, man, I think you got to kind of be good because, like, it kind of disintegrates in a weird way, so... I will very quickly um, switch the other laser over, just so you can see that. It is, it's just basically a lot thinner. Um, but it is, as you can see, it's a lot faster. Um, so, yeah. As I said, I see it as different bus sizes, Algrid. I don't. Is that a good analogy for you, Algrid, or brush sizes? Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it definitely works. You know, you're, you're after your fine detail. You go for your fine point brush. You're after mm. um, broad brush strokes to do that. And I can imagine that will be different materials that will actually benefit from the slow and steady and small and, and finite as opposed yeah. to the just rip it off. And... Well, it all, it's also a good sign that they may allow you different strip... Like, if we've got two strippers on this one, so to speak, um, we may be able to get different strippers at a future date. Like, you know, yeah. it almost looks like there's room there for a third, if you see what yeah, I mean, on, on, the, on the right-hand side there. Yep. So that would be really cool if you've got a small, medium and a large type of thing. That'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah. And, a, and a, you know, and even different quality scripts as, as to, you know, have the speed. Could you imagine a slower, a slower small brush that was going slower mm -hmm. and, and be more efficient, but taking its time. It, it, you know, efficient on energy and more getting more quality stuff, but taking time as opposed to being really quick. And so I can, I can see that type of kind of coming yeah. as well. So I guess uh, for me, our grid, what I'd like to hear in the uh, comments below is what do people think of salvage? Um, it is very simple. I, I think I'm even kind of surprised how simple it was. Um, I, I do think change is good as a holiday, but I am more keen for munching than I am for this. And I, I think I kind of already knew that going in. Um, but I don't know. What are your thoughts, Aragrid? And what would you like to hear from people in uh, the comments below? Yeah, I, I, I quite like the idea of the munching as well. It's it's a nice a nice feel it is a nice it is a nice it is a nice ship to fly as well i'm surprised that apart from the nose dip when you land when you're taking off mm -hmm. um and and it is at and like the call um as it calls it no like the cutter very slow to to slow down so you've got to mm -hmm. watch your speed if you're landing on a planet otherwise you might plow into it but yeah yeah, it, it, yeah. so what do you want to hear yeah. from people below in the comments okay. what would i like to hear how have, how have I found uh, mining? Oh, not mm. mining. How have I found salvage? <laughs> yeah, how have you found mining? Nothing to do about yeah. salvage. Just tell me what yeah. you feel about mining. <laughs> yeah, I see how it's going. Uh, we, yeah, which one do you like? Mining, salvage. Mm. Uh, where do you think salvage is going to go? 
Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it, we're only at that very first step, so. Yeah, it, it does feel a little bit behind mining at the moment. Um, and mm. even if I think back to the very first steps of mining, it still feels before that. I think for me, salvage is really weird, at munching for me. Um, yeah. And I think that'll, um, you know, that, that'll probably have a couple of different tiers as well because you've obviously got the sorting mm. stuff to do as well and and things yeah. like that. So. I, I, I think the beauty of this so far is that it actually gives your favourite ship mm. a purpose now. We haven't gone out and done that yet, so we'll have to get on. No, that. we haven't taken out your big ship, but um, mm. or your your um your favourite ship, but we'll have to get onto that. But I'm um, I'm assuming yeah, we'll have to try and do that. I'm assuming it's probably gonna have bigger lasers, so we can probably munch this eight ninety jump quicker. Mm. So yeah, if um yeah, I hope you guys had a good Christmas because it's obviously dropping on Christmas Day. Um, and if you do get around to watching it, that's awesome. But yeah, let us know what you, your your thoughts. And um, I'm assuming because as we're recording this almost a week earlier, by then. Um, you guys should hopefully have had Ben I'd jump in yourselves and, and give it a try. Yeah. And I'm hoping it does go to live, but a lot, a lot of the rumors are saying it's not going to live until next year. So if you don't get a chance, I, I wouldn't be devastated. Um, the other thing I would, would say, though, it does run noticeably better on the PTU. I'm getting between, you know, 50 to 60 frames, um, mm. and it just seems smoother. Even our grid could tell it ran smoother when he was watching me via Discord. Um, so... Mm. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I'm I'm looking forward to those performance improvements, and um, yep. they definitely need to make some small fixes on the vulture. It's not quite ready for prime time. You can tell that just with the little bugs. Like one of the bugs we had, our grid wasn't it was um, every time I tried to store it, it just yep. wouldn't store, and I actually had to end up yeah, claiming it, goes, it to get it back. It, it goes through the storing in progress, and that's it. It just doesn't go any further than that. Yeah. Which means, um, which means we can't store it to sell um, the crates. So that's why I was saying before we might be able to, have to transfer it over to another ship, so we can then store that ship and sell them off, and and then we can see what the um the material's worth. But from what we've been told, it's very similar to Quantanium. So yeah. All right, yeah. with that short and sweet, this one, um, yeah, just give us your thoughts. I'd like to hear what you guys think of it so far. Um, I think this is not. Like most people are going to see this as the highlight of the patch, but I think me and Agra were also kind of talking about that too a bit, weren't we, Agra? So just real quick, I, I think this is one of those patches that had a lot of backhand stuff that just needed to be done, and it's yeah. still got a little bit of a way to go, don't we? So yeah, yeah, it's a it's pe people see the salvage as, and I suppose the ships that are coming with this, you know, the, mm. the Vulture and and anything else that kind of get lumped in with mm. with three eighteen um, as as what the patch is about, but the patch is really about that back end state, the stuff behind the scenes, the stuff that's going to make it run yeah. smoother. The the Vulcan, not Vulcan, what, what the Vulcan the and Direct X12, but it was Vulcan Direct X12. Direct, this Direct time. X12, yep. Mm. Um, and also the Pez stuff and all of all of those things yeah. that are running that they need to run behind the scenes. They're the thing. They're the big, the big ticket items of this patch, I think. And yeah, and and it's just development. Game development is a slow and pain and a, a painful process at times. And mm -hmm. At the moment, we're in a, a painful process of, of yeah. those back in. Not, that not the worst year we've had, though, by far. Like, no. uh, I, I know you and I have been through some more, but yeah, um, if you are struggling, as we've suggested, maybe go away from the game for a while um, and try something yeah. else and, and come back because it is, a, it is a slow wait and this is a very big, complex game. Uh, or, look, this, this is this is going to be in this is in P, PTU. Mm -hmm. um, if it goes if it goes PTU to everybody, great. Have a, have fun. Knock yourselves out. But if it doesn't, if you're in a pit live, you've got yeah. the little boxes to pick up that are scattered around the place. Mm. Uh, you've got the delivery missions with presents, which are yeah. I'm told are giving a bit more uh, profit margin for those who are doing those types of things. Mm. Um, you know, so it's not as if the world is is ending and there's nothing to do. There are things you can do and, and play in the game, and so yeah, yeah, it is hard to be patient though sometimes. And I'm Agrid, you know, I'm not a patient man. <laughs> I've been here for no. ten, over ten years now, so um, yeah, I think that shows how much I'm prepared to wait. So yeah. All right, well, with that then, um, yeah, let us know your thoughts below. Um, if you like this video, like this video. Um, mm -hmm. Don't forget to leave a comment. Also, uh, subscribe if you like our content. If you want to go the extra mile on Patreon, feel free to do so as well. With that, I hope yeah. you had a great Christmas day. Obviously, we're recording this ahead of time. And I hope you guys have a, a good new year. Um, and 
we will catch for your stream after this episode. There won't won't be a, a stream though for for the Friday before Christmas. All right. Yep. He's been Agrid. He's been Execute. And, and we'll, we'll catch you in the next one.